Hello, we're going to have a quick look at Mini City Mayhem. Mini City Mayhem is an upcoming city builder that incorporates elements of strategy and time management into its gameplay. It is developed by Rogue Duck Interactive and Horstronaut and published by Rogue Duck Interactive and The Four Winds Entertainment, targeting a release date of Q1 2025. As far as I can tell, this is only going to be available for PC. Your job as mayor is to basically build up your city so that people moving in have a place to live. Sounds simple. You do this by placing roads and buildings, and you don't get to just build out, but you also get to build upwards as well. You also have bonuses awarded for color matching, which is placing buildings of the same color together. Those bonuses come in the form of rebates and increased building occupancy. They're not much on their own, but they do add up significantly over time. However, one of the big differences between this and other city builders is that you don't get to select which buildings you want to place. You're limited to the cards that are provided for you. Each card either represents a length of road or a different building type. As the game progresses and you level up, the buildings that you are able to place come with increased restrictions, such as only being able to be built on the ground floor, not allowing any further expansions above it, or minimum height requirements. Added to all that is the increased complexity of the shapes going forward. I was playing a bit blind as some of the game mechanics weren't really explained, but they weren't very hard to figure out with a bit of trial and error. Once I figured out the basics, I had a lot of fun with what felt like a 3D Tetris building sim, honestly. There's an addictive quality to this game. But although the Steam page does say that this is a cozy city builder, I would call it anything but. Maybe for the first couple of minutes where you have an open playing field and you have all of these options available to you as far as how you're going to lay out your city and the shapes of the buildings are fairly simple and there's not too many restrictions. At that point, it's cozy. But the moment you start approaching overcrowding and you hear that clock start to tick, all the coziness has gone out the window completely. Don't get me wrong, that's not a complaint. It's just an observation. It kind of reminds me of playing Tetris for the NES, where the blocks start to get a little bit too high and the music starts to ramp up, telling you that you need to figure this out soon or it's game over. Another way that this differs from traditional city builders is that you can only place one piece of road at a time. You always have one single road space square on the left of your hand that you can play at any time. However, there is a significant cooldown for that. So you can't just endlessly spam roads all over the place. You will occasionally get cards that allow you to place more road squares than one at a time. And I wouldn't wait to use those. I was trying to use them right away so that way I have more cards dedicated to buildings. That way I didn't have to struggle so much in the late game with road placement. As you place more buildings, you will eventually level up. When you do, you'll have the choice of one of three enhancement cards. Eventually, as you level up further, you'll have the option of an advisor card. These are usually a lot more powerful. Mini City Mayhem also has different play modes. The demo includes Patient Mode, which doubles the patience meter, and Zen Mode, which removes it completely and presents a more sandbox playing mode. There are two other modes that are not playable in the demo. Frenzy Mode, which, I mean, you can take a wild stab at what that one probably will be, and Mono Mode, which I don't know what that is. As far as the system specs for this game, it looks like they're going to be really forgiving and will run on damn near anything, so don't worry about that. Also, the developer seems to be pretty active with providing updates to the demo since there were two updates in the last three days that I've had it, one of which added a new challenge stage that I haven't beaten yet. One handy little tip that I will give you that the demo doesn't explain is that you can build roads on water, either over a river or on the shore. I think that's actually the secret to beating that challenge level now that I think about it. On the whole, I'm definitely interested in buying this when it comes out. The different play modes offer more chance for replayability, so that will factor into my decision. Personally, I find it helpful to have games like these around where I can just pick it up and play it for 15 to 20 minutes and put it down. It gives me a nice change of pace between some of the more intense games that I might be playing. For now, I've wishlisted it just so I can keep tabs on what's going on with it, and I'll check back in every once in a while to see if there's a new update that adds a new feature, maybe explain something a little bit more, maybe even a new map. I thank you very much if you've made it this far into the video, and if you've played this demo, let me know what you think below. And if you like these kinds of videos, just let me know by hitting the like button, maybe even subscribing. It actually gives me really useful feedback to let me know what kind of videos that I make that you guys are interested in. That's it for me for now. I'll see you next time. So long.